So this is probably not one of my best ideas ever of coming out in a snowstorm, but what I wanted to shoot is a scene up there. Now, I'll show you that in a minute on the iPhone once I get the camera out. But getting the camera out is gonna be fun. Like I say, I'm not, I'm not sure 100% how this is gonna come out. This is a bit of a, I think, um, not the greatest idea that I've ever had in my life. I, I will come, come to that agreement. It's not the brilliantest idea I had, come out in a snowstorm. But as you see, when I left home, there was no snow at all. And this wasn't meant to hit until, well, way past lunchtime, really. But yeah, we got to work with it and work what we got. But I've got to make sure I'm kind of shooting maybe away from the, I'll get my glove back on, away from the snow as it's falling. Because, yeah, ideally I was going to look at doing the tree in the distance. But, oh, I can't get them on because my hands are wet. There you go. But what's happened is where the wind's coming, it's getting on the lens. And of course, Nobby here forgot to bring any uh, tissues with him, which is pretty genius, isn't it? But never mind. Let's get on with it. So now, as minimalist stuff goes, this might work. Um, I'm not completely sure. It's just been it's turned into a bit of um, a bit of a cock up this one, and this is an example of one of those things I want to say. You know, you can't always guarantee you're going to get a picture no matter where you go. And you know, I left home. It was nice. It was you know a bit of cloud, and in the time it took me to walk here, which is two and a half miles, so like short of an hour. <laughs> it's like I'm in Antarctica. But, you know, we've got to work, we've got to work with what we got. Um, you know, it's a, a nice walk out. I don't see snow very often, to be honest. In fact, I'm regretting seeing snow at all right now. <laughs> but what I might have a look at, actually, is I'm going to turn the camera around in a sec. And um, I'm going to point towards those two trees. Because that might, with the angle, the angle of the thing, it might work a little bit as well. Because that's definitely not working, so... Let me turn you guys around. Right. Let's have a look. Now, I think I might have to swap lenses over on this because... Oh, there is a rag. Yes, saved. I did have one. Bonus. That's absolute bonus. Little gadget bag. That plan on bringing me one of them excellent right let's get this bag closed up um, let's get the let's get this this lens on I think at the moment well actually do you know what I'm gonna try that just it is going to be very minimalist. All right, let's get this lens cleaned first. So, let's have a look at the distance. I'm going to bring up the older, uh, bring up the level for the camera. Let's get my horizon straight as much as I can. There we go. Now, I'm just going to focus on that tree there. Look at that shot might just bring the shutter speed up a little bit I don't want it too blue because when it gets a bit too blue it's going to look a bit off but I think this is going to be black and white to be honest oh, my screen switched off <laughs> so the snow has got into the LCD lock that not that's the one that's moving around. There we go. Now, I think this might... I think I'm going to put the 120 on. Only because I might isolate that tree. And that might work. So... Now, if you've used... If you've used GFC, GFX systems before. 
bite the Fuji, you'll know that they're pretty war sealed. I'm just gonna get the bag closed up. As I don't wanna get too much snow in it. I'd like to show you this, but it's a little bit hard to, um, it's a little bit hard to show you guys when it's like this. Now, because I've got a wet hand, it doesn't wanna go back in the glove. So, rookie error this one. Have you ever done this if you've been skiing, trying to get a wet glove back on? There we go, all in, real. Get the old pocket wizard out. What I'm gonna do is because I've got a self-leveling tripod, I'm just gonna level this bad boy up. I'm just gonna clear the snow out of the uh, eye viewfinder. That's one. What's happening is the snow is going on to the little detection system there that when you bring the camera up to your eye, it switches the back screen off. So what's happening, the snow's building up on it and switching the back screen off. So now that it's focused, I'm gonna drop it into manual. Only because I know it's sharp as. Yes, I'm at F16. And that's looking all right. I'm gonna readjust this slightly. Whoop, he says, as he breaks the camera. Now, getting your camera level is one of the most important things I believe we can do as photographers, because pretty much what makes the picture, picture. Now, what I've done on this composition, I've taken the tree, I've put it below the center line. So there's a lot of sky, and then just the tree. And because I'm shooting quite depth, I'm gonna I'm gonna make it a real shallow depth of field on it. Now what I've done, I've just isolated the tree on its own, center the frame. But you can imagine that's the frame. It's the top of the tree is touching the halfway point. Now it's just a uh, just the first attempt. So what I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna move it around, move the composition, see what comes out of it. So this point now, because the tripod is level, I'm just gonna swing the head around and I'm gonna move the tree to the right hand side. Pretty much keeping it on the rule of thirds. So the tree's on one of the rules. So there we go, there's that. Let's get a couple of those. Well, I quite like that. Tree's standing out quite nicely. There's a bit of um, a bit of blurring of the land and the trees behind. Works quite nicely, quite nice. I'm quite happy with that. I'm gonna do now is bring more foreground in. So we're still level. I'm just gonna tip up slightly, click in the the old uh, level. There we go. Click that on. Now this might one might not work, but you know this is what we're out here to do. We're out here to have a try, see what things do. All right. So yeah, that doesn't work. All right. Let's just go back to that. Bang on in the middle composition can't get more in the middle of that now this snow is ridiculous <laughs> we've not had any in london at all well we're just outside london at all yet and then in a space of an hour and a bit oh it's covered it's covered and it's cold which is the worst thing um but i've got quite a nice image there i'm not quite happy with that i'm not sure exactly how the iPhone seeing this? I'm going to switch. I'm going to switch it off. No, I'll keep you on there. I'm just going to switch off the iPhone because I want to have a look at what's going on. Um, so if I go into the no, I don't want that. You ever had this with an iPhone when it doesn't want to work? So this is just on the iPhone now. I'm filming. This is just off center, so you can't really judge. But you can see the trees just get isolated. Now that's quite a good exposure on the iPhone. But I just wanted to show you what that tree would look like from here. Now, obviously I came here to shoot tracks and those trees over there, but because of wind, you have to adjust. You have to try and think outside the box slightly. And this is a very cold, windy and snowy box. But I'm quite happy with that image. I'll get a couple more in the bag. Um, like I say, the iPhone's showing you now what the camera's 
almost seen. It's not on the same. It's not on the same. Uh, I can't even think of the word. I'm, I'm freezing up. Black enough. I have coffee in the back. Now I'm on this. To be honest. This is going to probably be the only picture that I shoot today. I might actually swing the camera around on the long, and see how it works on the tracks going off over there. Hopefully that might work, but just checking all the time. On the back of the camera, I've got it set. So when I'm in manual mode, manual um, focus, everything sharpens up on the screen and that's what's happening at the moment. So that's why I'm just taking frames randomly. So something I might do in post will be just to adjust the white balance slightly because everything's blue at the moment. I just can't seem to get a white balance right. And I am one of those people I'd rather get it all right in camera rather than ask about in Photoshop. It didn't used to be like that. Everything used to have to be raw in my book. And then, <laughs> then I realized life is too short to shoot everything raw all the time. People will disagree with me, but hey, what I'm doing right now is I'm going to put it back into uh, AF mode again. I'm just going to pick my focus point. This will be the last shot I think I'm going to do because it is cold and there is football on the telly today. Not that I really want to watch Chelsea play, but hey, you have to do these sort of things for your loved ones. Okay, so that's level. Now, it doesn't look like it's level on the horizon, but because the horizon's got a bit of a slant in. So, I'm just going to find a focus point. Now, this time I'm going to have to open open the f-stop back up again because I need a bit more depth of field. So, we're down to f22 at 100. So, we're going to bring that back up. There we go. So, we're down to 8 for... Now, I've put the tracks that are going off into the distance to one side of the frame here as you can see all right now what i'm going to do is move the tripod across a little bit and try and get those tank tracks right in the middle of the focus up there we are good click that back into manual Oop. i'm going to drop everything now ah I have some stupid ideas, I really do. Brilliant. So let's turn the iPhone off. Right, I'm gonna knock it on the head there. Um, I would run you through the gear, what I've got with me, but realistically it's, you know, look, it's snow everywhere. Uh, and uh, I'm getting a bit cold, so, so I'm going to pack up, head home. Um, I might have some of this coffee first. Put the gear away. Yeah, yeah. This is one of those days where you have to... I kind of said earlier that I wasn't sure what I was going to get out of today. When I first started leaving to come down and shoot this, there wasn't a drop of snow in the air. It hadn't snowed yet. It was a nice cloud, it was going to look really nice. And by the time I got here, it, it's covered. It's absolutely covered. This is in the space of a, an hour and a half, two hours. It's just white. So, gear away, head on home. I think when I get home, I'll have to clear everything down, get it all cleared off. Um, yeah, generally go from there. But the walk home would be nice. I'm not cold. The feet aren't too bad just yet. Hands are a little bit, but you know, that's the thing of getting them wet, isn't it? In this sort of environment. There are so many people running in this today. It's ridiculous.
people think I'm crazy. Gotta get that on my iPhone, that's a nice shot. Ah, just to sum up, this is um this wasn't the greatest idea in the world. I should have stayed in front of the telly and watched um, Netflix, but I got out. I attempted it. It may have worked. It probably didn't. But hey, what can we do? We gotta try. And that's one of the important things about this video today is the fact that I've got out, I've tried to do it. And if you don't get out and try and do stuff, you'll never do it. And the whole, oh, I love coffee. Oh, yeah. And that's the whole principle of this little video today, if it recorded, which I'm sure it didn't, is there's days you can say, I'm not gonna do it, I'm not gonna bother, I'm not gonna try. I, I liked this news this year as the year of do. Hence why I'm standing in the middle of a field that's absolutely covered in snow and yeah, drinking my coffee after taking a few pictures. I, I, I think one might come out quite nice, I'm hoping. But like I say, it's the year of do. Now let's, let's just do it. If it does involve standing in a field in the snow. In fact, I'm actually not that cold. My hands are cold. That's because I can't work in gloves very well. And these are um, a company called Valor Valorate. Um, they're specifically designed for photography. They're a bit like a shooting glove where the, the fingers can come back so you can control stuff. But switching lenses around and stuff is not the greatest in the world. But yeah, I'm quite impressed with these, how warm they are. It's just the fact that if you get a wet hand because you're mucking around with the snow, getting it back in the glove is not the easiest thing in the world to be doing. So that is like three or four inches. Let me show you. So, I'm gonna show you this, look. This is like, it's like two or three inches thick on here. Man, that's mad. Right, finish this. I head home. Got a nice uh, roast dinner. I probably end up making and I think I'm going to get in a hot shower and kind of warm up but first of all it's the uh, two and a half three mile walk home <laughs> oh, I'm stupid. so I'm gonna put this coffee back in the bag get it back on my back and I'm gonna do an epic b-roll walk away cue the music Is that epic enough yet? So, I'm gonna go home. It's snowing. I've done a bit of epic B-roll walk away. Like I said, try. Try something, go out and do it. See if you can get that right. You know, by sitting at home, I can stay at home, not come out. But I've got to come out in this and probably regretting it, but I've come out and I've done it. And that's the, mass, that's the main thing. Come out and do something, try something, do it. You know, in the terms of night, just do it. Just go and do it, try it. You never know what you'll come out with. You might get nothing or you might get that shot. And uh, it's all about that. Well, actually sometimes it's all about the base, but hey, what do I know? Right, I'm off. Awesome.